In this video, you will learn how to localize the InfoArchive user interface, including setting the display language, the format of dates and times, and the format of numbers. When you log in, you should see a username list on the upper right corner of the page. Click your username and then click Language Settings to open the Language Settings dialog box. Note that if you don't see the selection, your administrator has not enabled support for different languages. The Language Settings dialog box has two list fields, Language and Format. You use the Language list to select the display language and the Format list to select the display and input format of dates, times and numbers. Below the lists, you should see a sample date and number for the current selections. Before changing the settings, note that English is the default language and US is the default format. When you select English, you have three format options, US, AU, and GB. This is to allow for differences in spelling among US, Australian, and British English. To see how the settings affect the application display, click Spanish in the language list. Note that because Spanish has only one format, ES is automatically selected in the format list. Now take a look at the sample date and number below the lists. Note the change in the date format. Also note that the thousand separator is now a period while the decimal separator is a comma. Now let's look at how the language and format settings affect the user interface. Make sure Spanish is selected in the language list, then click Select. You should see that the application's display language has been set to Spanish. Note, however, that applications appear in the language in which they were configured. Next, let's see how the language settings affect the display of dates and numbers in the UI. For example, let's look at the results of the customer order search for the order management application. Look at the order date column in the search results table and note that the date format follows the Spanish convention of day, month, year. Now look at the total price and account balance columns and note the format, period for the thousand separator and comma for the decimal separator. Now that you've learned how to change the Info Archive language settings, be sure to check out our other videos for more help with the application.